Me too, it says which item in this illustration shows a Morse alpha light. We got some choices there. So in the back of the exam, there's this same figure. Make sure you get the right figure. And of our choices, which of these is Morse alpha? Well, Morse alpha is a dot dash pattern. So uh, choice D is gonna be the correct answer here. Dash is Morse alpha. So that's gonna be the right answer for that one. For 23, information about temporary short-term changes affecting the safe navigation of waters is distributed to navigational interests by what? Well, if we look at these choices here, my immediate thought is the notice to mariners, uh, but let's look at the choices. The daily memorandum, that's not anything that's published um, that I'm aware of. The summary of corrections goes with individual charts, and so they cover all the corrections to charts um, over a specified period, generally as the charts are reissued. Hydrolance and hydropacks are put out by um, the Navigation Center and then broadcast uh, over the radio. That's actually since ceased on high frequency uh, broadcast, but um, those are kind of uh, open ocean type stuff for the most part. Uh, but the local notice to mariners, as you can see in the image, is uh, kind of short term stuff that's going to affect a specific area. So if you kind of click on your particular region, District 11, say, in Californian waters, you might see bridge construction or destruction. Um, those are the kind of things that would affect us uh, for short-term safety of navigation in U.S. waters. The next one here is number 24. The symbol which appears beside a light on a chart reads GPFLR2 10 sec 160 feet 19M. What is that characteristic for the light? Well, um, so just breaking this apart, GPFL is a group flashing light, so that's a specific type of light. Um, it has a group of flashes, and it's specified by the number in parentheses. So there's going to be two flashes, and they're going to be red because it's an R um, every 10 seconds. And then it's 160 feet tall, and it's got a nominal range of 19 miles. So nominal range is 19 miles. So looking at this, um, it's not a distinguishing number. It flashes once every 10. No, it's a group flash of two. It has a red light, that is correct, and it's visible for two nautical miles. Tricky wording there. Uh, the nominal range is not necessarily how, it's, how far it's visible, but visible in average conditions of 19 miles. So uh, C is going to be the correct answer for this one. <clears throat> for number 25, the hurricane season in the North Atlantic reaches its peak during which month? Well, looking at this graph provided by NOAA, you can see that it's September is the correct answer. But there is a memory aid, and it goes uh, June too soon, July stand by, August you must, which means you must prepare, September remember that that's the um, busiest season, and then October it's all over. Now as um, climate changes, storms have been seen to fall more into the earlier and later portions of this uh, curve, but September remains by far the peak of hurricane season in the North Atlantic. So number 26, under the U.S. aids to navigation system on western rivers, so that'll be important, passing day marks on the right descending bank. So the right descending bank. So if you're going down river, say on the any of the rivers in the middle part of the U.S., <clears throat> going downbound, what's going to be on your right side? Well, in the light list, it talks about the green square-shaped panels with green reflector borders on them um, is going to be the correct answer. So um, the key to this one is looking in the light list. You can see all the different ones. Um, they're incorrect. So they're going to be green squares um, for this system there. So for number 27, under the IALA, which stands for the International Association of Lighted Aids, buoyage system, a cardinal mark may not be used for what? Well, a cardinal mark, um, as shown in the image, is something that kind of indicates the direction to safe water. So if you see a westerly, a western cardinal mark, you know that safe water is to the west of the mark. So it, it, does, it indicates the safe side on which to pass. It indicates the deepest water is on the named side of the mark. So if you saw a west cardinal mark, you would not pass to the east of it. You would pass to the west of it. It also draws attention to features in channels. You know, these are, these are not um, aids like your red and green that you see down the, 
that you're passing through a channel. These are cardinal marks. So they, um, the correct answer for what it not, what is not used for is it does not indicate the port and starboard sides of a channel. Those would be our red and green markers there.